Hello everybody, this is Aquatami, and we're back today with The Sims 2 Veronaville. This is round number 8, part number 3 at the Cap Manor. I thought she went to college this round, but she doesn't. She does not go till next round. So she is two years younger than Puck? I don't know what that means for them as a couple. Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. I don't know. She needs to make friends with somebody. I think what we're going to do... Um, I'm going to have you call Sam. We're going to try to call this Mallory girl. Fingers crossed we can get a touch with her. Mallory Mace. Just talk. Now, what are you up to? Um, you are playing the piano. Okay. And the maid is making cereal. The butler is making cereal for the family. Okay. Consort is off today. Have we even set this up? We haven't. How did we get this? Oh! Yeah. Never mind, I remember. We cheated. That's how we got it. Why don't you come plant? And then why don't you come and eat cereal? You're getting your social up. Hopefully... Hopefully she's getting... She's gonna make friends too. She rolled out of nature. She had the thing in for nature and she rolled out of it. When she finished talking to her, Oh, he has this bathtub in his thing. I need to change it out so that there's a... Mm, this is what we're going to do. I know he loves this bathtub, but we're selling the bathtub. We're selling the bathtub and we're putting in a bathtub shower combo. He's just going to have to live with it. So when you finish talking on the phone, I want you to take a shower, and then I want you to eat. You want a cleaning skill. Have you talked to your family and everything lately? Oh, you've got a point. Hold on. Oh, you don't have a secondary. I can try out my new secondary thing. Okay, which doesn't matter much, but here, let me find your, this is just something new that I'm working on. I found somebody who has this generator, and you 
plug numbers into the generator and it gives you based on their interest and it gives you a secondary aspiration money is 10 entertainment is 9 health is 6 environment is 4 culture is 9 fashion is 0 um, sports is 4 work is 4 school is 8 paranormal is 0 weather is 3 toys is 7 Travel is five. Animals is six. Sci-fi is three. It says you should be a fortune sim, which you are, with a family secondary. So guess what you get to be? You get to be a family secondary. Yay! I'm trying this out, this method out, of using their... their what do you call these? Mm. Using their interests to choose their aspirations and stuff. I don't know how it's going to work out. And I don't know if it's going to make it's going to make there be too many of one type of sim and not enough of another cuz the whole reason you roll the dice I mean the only thing the only reason you roll the dice is so that you don't sit there and make every sim knowledge and family or every you know you don't have a type of sim that you like and you you have to use all the different types of sims. That's the that's the reason behind rolling the dice. So, where are you going, consort? Oh, you're going out here. Oh yeah, because I threw a win pinball machine out here. All right, when you play your pinball machine, you stole it fair and square. You stole it fair and square, console. So you play with that. She needs to eat, but she also needs to take a shower. She needs to take a shower. Use the bathroom. And then she needs to eat. Bye, Mr. Maid. He would be cute to move into the family. I almost feel like Puck and Hermia aren't going to work out, but I don't know because they're not the same age. They've got to have at least two bolts of attraction or I won't keep them together. I just, I don't know how much y'all love them together, but they have to have two bolts of attraction or they're not staying together. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, baby. little pup what is it yeah mama's playing her game I know what is it I'll give you little pets I'll give you some pets well nothing much is going on you gonna go play what you gonna do you gonna go curl back up in your nest she has a nest she's a chihuahua okay her name's Valentine I call her Valley um don't ask. It just happened and it stuck. Um, but she, um, I throw a quilt over the couch to help keep the dog off the couch, if you know what I mean. Because you can always pull the, you pull the, the quilt off and you just throw it in the wash. And then you put a new quilt on. Oh God, don't eat that. Don't eat that. That's, it's gone bad. Um, um. Well, have you served some lunch? Oh, you don't know how to cook very much. It's all right. It'll be fine. 
We'll put in the tomatoes that we have so far. We'll just stick them in the fridge. And then we'll make some soup. But anyway, she gets between the couch and the cover and builds herself a nest, which defeats the whole purpose of me having a cover on the couch because she's laying against the couch. But anyway, that's beside the point. She pulls like a little afghan underneath there with her and literally builds herself a nest. That's what I call it anyway. But she builds herself a little nest and then she sleeps in there all day. She kind of hides and sleeps in her little nest. She's weird. She's a weird dog. And she's not a pup. I call her a pup. She's not a pup. She is... Let me see. In 2011, she was a year old. So she was born. She's 10 years old. So she's 10 years old, and the Dotson that I have, which was my mom's dog, I got it when my mom died in 2011, which is why I always reference back to 2011. Um, the Dotson is 11 years old, and then I always forget how old the big dog is, because she's younger than they are. She's 7 or 8, I think, but I could be wrong. But she's a couple of years younger than them. And that's my dogs. Plus then I have two cats. A brother and a sister. I agreed to take the run of the litter which turned out to be a boy. And there was a girl and they couldn't find a home for the girl. And so I said sure fine what what's one more. So I have these two cats. I never wanted to have two cats because I kept getting cats and they would die. Like they would literally either disappear or die or, you know, always bad things happening. Um, I'm going to have you switch over to working on cooking. Even though I need you to work on this. No, we're going to get you to garden a little bit more, and then we'll switch you over to working on cooking. Oh, she's scared of being abducted by aliens. You ain't got to worry about that, honey. We're not sticking you on anything. What are you doing, consort? You've decided to get fit in your old age? How old is consort? Oh, dear me. He's going to have to take some elixir. Because consort has to live until Juliet gets home from college. How long has Juliet been in college? Is this her second round in college or her first? No, he may be okay. He may be okay. But then he'll die not long after Juliet gets home. Cornwall. Great Cornwall. He is your son-in-law. He's family. You might as well say hello to him. You're working on the plants. And then I'll get you to doing some stuff in a little while. I need her to make friends and do all kind of things, but... Where'd Cornwall go? Please tell me you're not going to eat that. Cornwall, don't eat that. Don't... Oh, Cornwall. I'm going to go into your lot and you're going to have food poisoning. <sighs> Dear me. Dear me. I would have been better not to even talk to him. You want to buy a painting. You want to buy a living room chair. You want to research cleaning. Oh, you got a cleaning point. Yay. Go you. You want a makeover station? I don't see us getting a makeover station. Yeah. Oh, you're going to spy on the neighbors? Oh, 
Oh, made some money. Might be better if I got her working on this to get her mood up. And she has no scholarships other than her grades. I mean, in the long term, it'd be better if I had her working on this. But somebody has to work on the garden. Have you gotten your skill all the way up? You have. You have a green thumb. I'm going to put her to doing the other stuff. I'm going to let you have off for a little bit and let's let's do some work on your cooking and we'll work on we'll work on the garden later maybe consort should work on the garden consort, consort would okay. never work on the garden that's mm. beneath him Ugh, table fly. Huh? <laughs> Who is this dude? Gary Thompson. I don't know him. Of course, we could meet him right now, but... <laughs> and yeah, I have a mod to stop them from coming over and beating each other up. They still look at each other, but they don't beat each other up. Okay, so she goes to college in one more round. Oh my gosh, one more round. Why are you sitting here? Oh, because I... You're using this... <sighs> See, I need to put that there, but I like the way that looks. But I need to put that over there. Because otherwise our, our study nook is invalidated. <sighs> but I like the way that looks. It's not going to look as pretty when I take those out and put this in. Oh well. She's getting her mood up. That's good. She wants to have grandkids. Oh lordy be. Grandkids. Consort is going for a tub. See, you still got your tub. I just added a shower for convenience sakes. How are you doing, Cornwall? Are you alien pregnant? I think he is. Right? Didn't I do that in the last part? It's been so long. Because last week I only got to play two parts. I got to play university and that's it. Because I couldn't find the time. This week... Okay, here's a, here's a funny story. I always record... All of Pleasant View, seven parts of Pleasant View, then I record seven parts of Strange Town, and then if I find time, I record Veronaville. That's just the way I do it. So, this whole week, I, I've been kind of behind on Strange Town, and I thought, I'm not going to get to play Veronaville. And I was really upset about it. And last night, I was like, I might can get three or maybe four parts in. 
but that'll be it. Then I get up today to go into work. You know, I'm working from home. Yeah. And I go into work and look on the calendar, and I'm supposed to be off today. Uh, funny thing is, they made me sign up for all my vacation days last month because I hadn't taken enough for the year and all that sort of stuff. So, they made me sign up for my vacation days. So, I did. And now... I came in and I have vacation days and I'm like yay because the stuff I was planning to do during lunch I can just go and do in a little while I'm gonna it's morning I usually don't record in the morning but I am now so in about an hour or so I'm gonna go run to the grocery store and the pharmacy and do my little errands that I need to do and then I can come back and I can record some more so hopefully I don't know but hopefully I'll get seven parts of Veronaville done for this week since I have a day off. I don't know that that's going to happen because I do have other stuff i got to do. But at least I know I'm going to get to play some Veronaville. So I'm very happy about that. Because I've missed this, this one. But this one just gets put on the back burner because I only have so much time in the week. And it just gets put on the back burner. If I get ahead, I do a lot of it. And if I don't get ahead, if I get behind, I don't do very much. And that's just kind of the way it is. It's Saturday at 9 p.m. And we're studying. She's all the way up. I'm really impressed. Break up with Puck death of Puck. I just don't know if she's going to wind up with Puck. I just don't know if she's going to wind up with Puck. I, I keep waiting for her to grow up to, so I can put them together and see if they're going to work as a couple. But he's two years older than her. And that means he's going to have to go back to like live with the summer dream family to wait for her to graduate because he can't live on his own because I deemed it that way the men can't be trusted to live on their own I don't mean it that way but that's just kind of how we're playing the women rule the houses the men can't live in separate houses they have to the woman has to take care of the, the woman is the head of the house, and then the men take the women's name, and if the man is single, he has to live with his family. So that means Puck going back to Summer Dream, which isn't the end of the world, but I don't know. I don't know. Consort, do you not want to go sleep on your bed, in your bed? Like, you have a bed. Consort? Weird. Did uh, Cornwall leave? Maybe. Oh, God, I hope. Cornwall, um, you might not should be out here. We have a, we have a, a few ghosts out. Cleopatra is out. Yeah, we got some ghosts out. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know why he was down here in his workout outfit. Um, but he needs to be careful. Oh, he is not a happy ghost. So there was a massive fire at some point and killed some of the family. Bye, Cornwall. Have a safe trip home to the bottom of the... Have a safe trip through the ghost maze. I think there's only two, though, out. So that's not too bad. You're Caliban? I put Caliban with Cord 
Australia. Yeah, I gotta put another thing here. So this is where we're gonna lay consort to rest. He's gonna get laid to rest right here in the family crypt. And then that leaves Romeo and Juliet right here. It's bad that I'm planning their their final resting points, but you know, these things have to be done. And I'm not sure that Hermia is going to move back in here. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Hermia. I don't necessarily want to start another cap house. But at the same time. At the same time. Don't we have a. We have a charger, don't we? Is it upstairs? Um, um, do we not have a... Do we not have a charge charger thingy? I mean, I thought we did. Okay. Can we get one? But then where do we put it? It doesn't fit anywhere. We're going to, for right now, stick it right there. Here, you come and use that. No, 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 that's not what I said to do, love. No, no, no. I appreciate, I appreciate you doing that. But we're just going to let you just energize. We're just going to let you energize. I'm going to have to find a new place for this to live, but I don't know where that place is going to be. I'm kind of scared to put it on the grounds. Like, it, the only place it would really fit is, like, over here, probably. Because so over here, you know, I don't, I don't know that coming over here when you're about, when you got no energy right next to the ghost is a good idea. Um, it's just, just saying, not sure that's a good idea. And I kind of would like her to garden. But at the same time, I could get her to do some more skilling. Um, just go ahead and finish off your cooking. You decided to do some scanning? You just out of the blue, you decided to do some scanning? All right, well, don't lose the scanner, dude. You know, we stole that fair and square. The only person that's used it is you. You forget that Sims will just pick these things up and go with them. She's almost finished her thing. And then I may have her work on the garden some more. 
but I may let the garden just sit. Um, I mean, we could harvest it the way it is, but it's you get a better price if you get it up. But we could wait till Juliet gets home and let Juliet handle it. Why don't we have you work on, I don't know what we're, oh, there are ghosts out here. Because we could let you do this or this for charisma. Or we could do some body. But the ghosts are out. Maybe they won't. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Oh, let's not do that body. Let's do this body. Punch it. Punch it real good. Oh, we need to make a picture of Consort. We could take a photo of him. We need to do that. We can do it next time. I just need to remember to do it before he dies. I'd like to get at least one portrait of him. Since we have a camera, we just take a picture of him. Because nobody's got any skill in this house right now. There you go. Wow. Consort has just gotten up and he's doing his thing. Please don't scare her. She's just a poor innocent teenager. Don't scare her. She's going to scare you. No? No, yes, yeah, she's going to get scared. Just go right back to punching. You're okay. I think we're going to leave this part right here. As I said, Hermia has aged up. She has one more round before she can go to college. And Consort has a couple more days. I don't know how many days he has. But he's got at least a couple more days. And um, he's just got to make it until Juliet gets home. Because he's holding the house down until the heir, Juliet, gets home. Where are you walking to, old man? The ghost is going to get you. Oh, I forgot to put that there. So anyway, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And I hope that I'll see you back here again real soon. <laughs> Bye for now, guys. He's having too much fun. Too much fun. Bye for now.